told me ba -rum -ba -bum -bum. A newborn king to see ba -rum -ba -bum -bum. Our finest gifts we bring ba -rum -ba -bum -bum. Well, my family has always been very, very musical. Uh, growing up, I was kind of one of those kids that grew up in church most of my life, uh, sort of born under a pew. And uh, so I was constantly around, you know, Christmas cantatas and choir practices and all things church and all things music. My, uh, my parents uh, were music ministers at churches growing up. Uh, my dad is an incredible bass player and piano player and he also plays a really mean B3 organ. And uh, would, so I grew up around black gospel music and my mom would teach the choirs. And when I was 11 years old, my older brother was 13 and my little sister was nine. And we traveled as a family worship band. And we traveled and we did it literally Monday through Friday. We would be in these churches, Monday night, Tuesday night, all the way through Saturday. And then on Saturdays, we would drive uh, to the next church and we would do this for two and a half years. And um, it was actually during that time though that I really began to realize that music was something I really wanted to do with my life. Um, and not just that, but even at 11 years old, I started getting like song ideas and my mom and my dad would help me finish writing songs and finish the song ideas. And so really that was a, a big point in my life. Um, really, I just have all that to owe to my family, uh, my mom, my dad, and, and obviously, you know, God's a very big part, part of my life, Jesus Christ. And so it was during that time that I really began to draw close to him and, uh, and realized that he wanted me to, to give him my life and give him the abilities that he, that he had given me, give those back to him. I remember the first time I played a McPherson guitar was at Michael W. Smith's house. And I saw it laying there, I was like, you know what? I said, Michael, would you be okay if I played on that? Because I've seen a lot of guys with that guitar recently and, and I've always wanted to play on one. So I started playing it, picking around in it, and I just fell in love with it. I just freaked out because it just has so much depth and clarity and the tone is amazing. And, and you know, I've never really been one to be picky about guitars. You know, I've, I've never been one to be sort of picky about what kind of guitar I like to play. I, if, as long as it sounds good, I'll play it. And, but for me, there really was a distinct sound when I picked up the McPherson, a uh, sound that I've never heard before out of any other guitar. I was 16 when our band got signed to our first record deal, and we released our first record. I was 17, and uh, so I'm 23 now, and uh, it's been just a, uh, a blast, a, a wild ride. One man awakes, awakens another. Second one awakes, his next door brother. Three awake and rise a town. Turn the whole place upside down Many awake will cause such a fuss Finally he wakes up the rest of us One man awakes with dawn in his eyes Surely then it multiplies Surely then it multiplies, yeah early audio journaling and, and newsboys sort of stage. I kind of missed out on that because I was listening to like John P. Key and, and uh, Kirk Franklin and, and I loved it. I loved that kind of music. I actually started playing drums first uh, to a lot of those songs. It influenced our band. Our band started playing for a youth group when I was about 13 years old. Uh, we started playing, my mom and dad started a church in our hometown in, in Texas, in Baytown. That's where our band started playing, and, and uh, we really looked up to a lot of bands like Delirious and Third Day and bands like that, so it really kind of influenced our sound as a band as well. We just released our fourth record, so the record's called The Great Awakening, and it's, it's inspired by the original Great Awakening revival that hit America in the late 1700s. So these songs on our new record were kind of inspired by stories of this revival and, and just reading about it. Us wanting kind of our cry to see another move of God in our nation again, because we really need it. That's what I'm really excited about, inspiring the youth of America and churches to be hungry for something more than just church on Sunday. Many awake will cause such a fuss And finally wakes up the rest of us One man awakes with dawn in his eyes Surely then it multiplies Yeah